Yes, that's right. We're jumping ahead to episode five because I told you guys, if you don't watch it, then I need to, you know, optimize this so that we take as little L as possible. We just did a bunch of catch up on stream, though. We pretty much just kind of fast. Just we just like skipped through episodes two to four. And basically, you know, the most important thing was the Gazelle uh, fucking talk with Rimuru, you know, declaring Rimuru his speech, you know, the alcohol trade. Family with Nation, they're pretty shitty. They got the Isaka characters that they're sending over. Mulan has interfered, right? He's getting infiltrated because of Clayman. And then Gopta got laid at the elf bar. That's pretty much it. Let's begin today's reaction. This guy, Yom, just got given a wife too, dude. Oh, this is after Hakuro beat his ass. <laughs> Because she's... Wait, but I, I guess, right? Because what does she get? She's just like a Majin, right? But a Majin is like a very generic term to cover strong, magical beings, right? What race is she? Yom Riz. Lap Pillow Riz. I bet you feel guilty about this, Mulan. I bet you feel guilty! Literally control. Is this some kind of magic that Clayman has? It's, it's like some kind of curse or some kind of binding contract? This guy, Yom, is actually like the luckiest person in this show. Bro, like, just like accidentally becomes like a champion into a king and just gets given a wife later on too, right? Yom, like, and I'm sure like the future seasons too, Yom is going to continue to succeed. Prelude to the disaster. Here we go. We're actually getting all prepared for the piece of the shit to come from your uh Falmuth, huh? I can't believe we're putting in this much effort to welcome these idiots. We're so polite. Gabi to fanboys. Uh is there a reason why you just mentioned y'all have high potions? Oh, is this welcoming back Rimuru? I thought this is like to welcome like the the envoys from Falmouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did Gabiru fanboy number three realize that Muran is an agent from Clayman? Did he? What is this? Why do you look at her all sus for a second? What was this? He... No, 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 he, he figured something out. All right, Yom and Darker Yom. Dude, you're Yom and Yom too. Bald. Bald. Kureiman. Oh, the heart. So he has her physical heart? This piece of shit. You just skipped it. Oh, I have one more request for you. Complete silence. Of course, you won't refuse, will you? <laughs> he knows about Yom already! <sighs> Dio's voice actor is so good. Like, I know that Clayman is a joke, right? Like, we all know that Clayman at the grand scheme of things, like, he's not a true demon lord. He fucking sucks. But the voice actor from Dio is just so epic. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> what a comical villain, always just fucking twirling his <laughs> wine thing, dude. If it means what? To be with Yom, you'd be willing to, you know, put this entire village to ruins? Yuran doesn't really have any other choice. Okay, here we go. Here comes the idiots from Falmouth, man. CGI. This is Gabiru's sister, right? Right? Gabiru's sister, because like, Gab, Gab, some of the dragon newts, they can like turn to humanoids, they turn to waifus, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, who is this girl again? I'm like, oh yeah, it's Gabiru's fucking sister. <laughs> Yes, all, all the girls got a human-like form, I wonder why. While well, the guys remain pretty much the same. Oh, oh, oh. Great Sage? Never mind. Albus. Your is under attack? They're under attack by... 
Miriam and the other girl, right? The demon lord. Uh, Harpy and Miriam? And we got our own shit to take care of. We can't be focused there. Lazy still frame. Lazy still frame. Alright, here's the Isekai trio of idiots. That's so crazy, because like we built all this shit up from the ground up since season one. They're so fucking entitled, like they're just like absolute trash. You guys make me sick. Try it. Fucking try it. I just want them to get humbled, but it's not gonna happen for like fucking 10 episodes. No. <sighs> what are they gonna do? Do the fucking Yakuza tactic? Just like walk by a, a stand like a shop and accidentally walk into it and, be, and just fall and trip and be like, Oh my god, you've injured me. You need to fucking, you know, you, you need to pay a fine or we're, we're gonna fucking report you, right? We're, we're gonna do the self-victimizing shit. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Rasmus was the one that told them to be here, right? Yeah. Gopta needs to humble these idiots. The most fake Kia. My man Gobzo is getting gaslit already! Why are you covering your tits when you covered, you touched your ass? Already, al already done. Right here? Already fake, dude. You're not even hiding your ass. You're in, you're, you're in fact, you're showing Gobzo your ass by starting like this. What are you doing? <laughs> is that the first time we heard Go Gobzo talk? Has, has Gobzo actually had lines before? I, I swear to God, he, he's just like the other dwarf brother that just goes, mm hmm. Is, is, that, is that the first time? He has, has he talked before? He has? Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 what was this? So she walks up, and then she walks, <laughs> she just walks in. Bro, oh God! This, she, she, you know those people that like intensely walk into traffic and get hit by, hit by a car? They walk, they walk into a car, like a car is like parked. And they like walk into a car. They're like, oh, my leg. <laughs> Racists. Racists. Bewilder. Target's consciousness? It makes them believe her. So she had. I totally forgot about her power. Her, her, her power, her unique skill is literally gaslighting. It makes him believe at her and do what she says. That's insane. Like, her unique skill is literally gaslight. <laughs> oh, the hero has appeared out of nowhere. Gobzo does not have a lewd look on his face. It's some bullshit, man. I hate this so much. I hate this so much, dude. Come on. Don't be face freak, bro. Shut the fuck up, porcupine hair. Giga Chad. Leader of the Goblin Riders. Oh, humble them. Humble them. Come on. Oh, he's too good. This is what you should be doing, but I'm just such a petty motherfucker. Like, I would have fucking... I wouldn't even have, like, done this. If I was Gopta, I would have fucking came running in with the fucking dropping kick. But you can't do a flying dropping kick in this situation. The people are gonna think we're fucking monsters. Like, more than monsters. You know what I mean? Like, we gotta act cool. This is so fucked, though. I wanna hurt the humans, but I can't hurt the humans. You know, we, we gotta... We, we gotta act chill. They can't suspect us. But but does did anyone see what happened? Do we have proof? Right? Did anyone see Gobzo fucking slap this girl's gear? I don't think so. There's no proof. That's crazy. Get real, you think I'm gonna accept a reason like that? Like, her gaslighting us off of all lies that's all fabricated and she's the one saying you're gonna accept a reason like that. She doesn't even have a fucking reason. Like, what did she say? Oh my god! He hurt me! He fucking grabbed my ass! But no one fucking saw it! Then she walked into him and fucking pushed herself back! 
This is canon? Gobso? Gobso and Shio? Gobso and Shio? S line. First time hearing it, I didn't even know Gobso was into Shion like that. <laughs> Boom. Giga Chad, Gobta immediately diffuses the situation, clears up Gobzo's innocence. Then icebreaker joke, everyone's laughing, everyone's happy. But these shitty fucking humans are gonna fuck it up, right? <laughs> Get mad, bitch! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she thinks that she's fucking Yogiri from instant death. Ooh, Shine. <laughs> but like, so other people will like attack them now? Is that the idea? You should die. So that means that other people will believe that they should die? Or will they try to act upon it or what? <laughs> <Just laughing. laughs> Shuna dispelled it! That's Shion, by the way. Yep, that, that's Shion, by the way, princess. That's right. You, you see the boing, 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 boing. Yep, that, that, there, there it is. Yeah, she did. Shina's very useful for stuff like this, huh? Banish them! Ooh, yes. Some kind of beast, she just walked up and said, Leave. She don't kill him! <laughs> I don't remember this guy being this whole, this like bad. Holy fuck. Shogo's character is absolutely degenerate. Holy fuck. I don't remember this from the last time I watched. Not try it. Fight. Come on. Self defense. Self defense. But we're not allowed to fight, but this is self-defense, right? I don't know. This guy's power was like uh, something to do with like slow motion or something, right? Like eye technique or some shit? My severer. I think that's the sword. No spoilers! <laughs> Okay, you extra skill, all seeing eye. <laughs> My power won't lose to that crone Hinata. What? Wait, wait, wait. So, Thaumut uh, and the Holy Nation, the church, I guess they do. They are pretty close or some shit. I, I, for, I forget. No, that's in Gracia. That's close. But he, uh, he sparred with Hinata before? Is he just talking shit? Like, is that real? <laughs> Cap. No, it's Yom 2. They got cream puff in the show now? Yeah. Yom 2 actually wants to get with Mulan too? I... <laughs> He's like identical every way, huh? He's chasing after Mulan, they have like the same look, He's like, what? And then he gets cucked and he's fine with it? Bye-bye. He's right, he's caught on. Mm. She has been acting sus. Actually, I can't even say she's been acting sus because we skipped those episodes, but she's been acting sus. Cutting off the communication so that Yurazania can't request for help to Rimuru? Is, is that the goal? And Rimuru is also outside right now. Right, it's more about cutting contact with Rimuru, not Yurazania, because if they're about to attack and Rimuru's still not here, and he's still in Ingracia, right? And Hinata like attacks him after he leaves Bang even more time, right? Yeah, yeah. Cut off communication by time while Rimuru's busy. <laughs> Hybrid. 
大使安心しろよカリオン様は無敵だ Is this true? Lord Carrion is invincible? It, 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 he's just hyping up his leader, right? He, he's just hyping up his Waga Aruji, right? There's, there's no way Karyon's actually invincible, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he's just meat riding him, right? Yeah, yeah. Here we go, Majin. Not a human. Basically, powerful magic user. <laughs> Yo, should Grusius be having this moment right now instead of Yom? Like, this is a pretty epic moment from Grusius, but like, I feel like the real, you know, Yom should be the one out here talking to her. Maybe it's safer later. Oh! As a friend. <laughs> I think Grusius knew that it was gonna happen, but holy shit, this- Wow, as a friend. I do like you too. As a friend. As a brother. Oh yeah, you'll find someone nice. That, that's not me. Do you like? Majin powers? Oh, what the fuck? That's a real form. I like that. I like that a lot. That third eye looks like a slit. A slit. You know, that shape of the eye. って有名だったな。ひょっとして。黙りなさい。それ以上喋ったら。やっぱりそうなんだなってことは。その話。ヨーム。詳しく聞かせろ。The the other shitty isekai characters, they're being so fucking racist. But look at Yom, dude. Look at Yom, dude. He's like the actual model human. Damn! Oh no! Not in front of Grusius! <laughs> He's fine with it. Oh, the Riz. The champion's Riz! In front of Grusius right now, by the way. No. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> well, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Maybe you should have tried to take advantage of the moment, but like, bro, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Did Grusius just fuck everything up? Because if Yom kept hugging her, maybe Mulan wouldn't have done this. But then Grusius went in there and just like, you know, break them apart. And now Mulan's about to do the thing. Wait! This is all Grusius' fault! <laughs> she did ask to let go, but then Grusius went in, but still, in my head canon. <laughs> yeah, she did ask, but in my head canon, this is all Grusius' fault, dude. The downfall of Jura Tempest right now in the absence of Rimuru is all because of Grusius, dude. We gotta start a fucking war against Eurozania, dude. Let's go fucking tag team, you know, carry on with Milim right now, bro. Let's take him out. Oh, she's actually singing with the song. No, you wouldn't. I don't remember the soundtrack being this good. A lot of Mulan armpits right now. There it is. Anti magic barrier up. Ah, shit. War is upon us, guys. The Tempest Forest incident, dude. Ah, oh, fuck! I'm starting to remember, and now we're fucking nerfed, and we can't even fucking kick these idiots out. This fucking sucks. Dude, these episodes are so frustrating, man. Oh. How much is she nerfed by? Is there actually in the light novel, did they give you like a percentage of like how nerfed you are with like the anti-magic barrier? Little lady! And that's the episode, man. This I'm just starting to realize like how frustrating these next couple episodes are gonna be. Cause like 
we have no business losing to these idiots, but because of the fucking anti-magic barrier, like, it's it's so unfair, right? And they're gonna fucking they're, they're gonna get one over us, and it, oh my, fuck, fuck, Mutan, why would you do this? It's out of love. She's Clayman's got the fucking heart captured. It's fucking annoying. Oh my, don't worry. The the frustration that we're gonna feel on the upcoming episodes, it's necessary because when we're back, when Rimu is back, and we go to war, you know. When we do the pop-off moments, that will feel so much better because of the frustration they have to feel right now. That's what happens in all revenge stories, right? But goddamn, we gotta deal with the man. We gotta fucking deal with the man. The Isekai characters from Falmuth has invaded. They have they need like an excuse to start a war, so they just come here and just fucking start random shit. What is the excuse now, actually? Like the, the in the beginning, it was like, oh, Gobe so fucking sexually insulted me, but it's like we cleared it out, then we're gonna kick them out, and then we raised the barrier. But they don't really have a good. Re what what reason do they have, huh? Like 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 what reason do they really have to like start the war? Because like they needed like a valid reason, right? But now it's just like everything fell apart, and we just still went out with that. Oh, Milan fucking put the anti magic barrier up, fucking prison field, you know? They attacked them. I mean, did they? Att did we attack them? We said get out! I feel like that's not like a valid reason, but it's not that big of a deal. Or is on its way, and goddamn, Rimuru cannot come soon enough. But next episode, I believe. Next episode, Rimuru got some other shit to deal with. That should be a fucking hype episode too. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.